this is file 231880ST. It's a traffic case. Charges driving with a suspended driver's license. Are you William Eugene Lowry? Yes, sir. You got a ticket on August 27th in Centerville for driving with a suspended license. He ran through a lane. Show us suspended. So let's take a look at your driving record. Driving suspended is one of our most common offenses. It's a misdemeanor. It's punishable by up to 93 days in jail and a fine of up to $500. Carries two points on your driving record and it requires that your license be suspended. Your license is already suspended, but you fail, you got a ticket in Battle Creek and you failed to show up a reckless driving charge. Then that was in September of 22. In December of 22, you got a reckless driving charge here in St. Joe County. That they reduced to careless driving. And you got suspended from November 19th to February 16th of 22. And you got suspended from April 28th through indefinitely for failing to appear in Calhoun County. And then they referred you for a driver assessment for three negligent crashes. And you failed to show for the examination in the driver license appeal division and they further suspended your license. From May 23 until requirements of licensing authority have been met. So you're suspended about three different ways um, <clears throat> for failing to appear in Calhoun County, failing to show up for a driver assessment and a driving suspended here, or a reckless, I think, in St. Joe County. Anyway, your license is clearly suspended. Um, the public defender, Matea Paycheck, is here, and uh, she's available for consultation, but the law presumes I will do a fine and cost for this, but at some point you're going to need to stop driving. How do you plead to the charge that on September 27th here in Centerville, you were driving with a suspended license? I'd be guilty. I was, I was driving. Where were you going? I was here. I was actually in the parking lot here getting uh, eviction notices to get people out of my house. All right. Well, there's no exception to how did you happen to get stopped? I, I, I was really, no, I, I didn't get nothing in the mail notifying me of my license being suspended. I didn't really think about it. Well, they, do you still live at, live at Ivy Lane? I'm staying with my grandma now at 320 East Market. Like I'm evicting people out of Ivy Lane. All right, well, they, they send the notice. And that's what I'm saying. I think they to, got the notice the, out of Ivy to the Lane. Address, they, they, to, to the they address on the driver's never got it. It's just what I think happened. I'm not sure. Are you working someplace? I'm, not, I'm looking for a job right now. I mean, when, I got a little bit of work today, but that's not. When a did you last job. work? Huh? When did you last work? Well, about, I was working at all about trailers before I got in trouble for the reckless driving and stuff like that. I got incarcerated, so I lost my job. Okay. You were on a motorcycle? No, I was in a car. Okay. I was in a truck. I don't know what the heck you were doing, but. Um, You don't owe any money, as far as I can tell, here. You got issues in Battle Creek. Yeah, I got to settle them issues. <laughs> you 
you already went to jail for the underlying charge, so I guess I won't put you back in jail. Thank you. I'm going to a $125 fine, $75 crime victims rights fee, and a $50 state minimum fee. That's $250. I'm going to give you until the end of November to pay that. The 11 30 Whose car were you driving? My mother's. She Which I ended, ended, up, get in ended up getting it from her, and then I kind of wrecked it. And that's yeah. And then you wrecked your mom's car too. Well, I bought it from her, and then you know, then I wrecked it. Insurance paid it off, so no harm in the foul except for me being stupid. I guess you're too old for that stuff. I, I that's am. like, did you give that to him? Yes. Like eighteen-year-old stuff, not thirty-nine-year-old stuff. Thank you. All right. I want you to pay that. And you're good to go. All right. Thank you. This is file 231072SM. People versus Jesus Gabriel Sanchez. It's alleged that on or about June 1st that you did maliciously injured personal property worth more than $200, but less than $1,000. Tires, which were the property of Caden Colby Gage Ford. Um, that's a misdemeanor punishable by up to a year in jail and a fine of up to $2,000. There's no, oh, there it is. He said that you slashed two of his tires on his Mazda pickup. And this had to do with Miranda Rawson, who you know and I know. And uh, supposedly Miranda saw you do it. You got other problems. You have a Allowing another to violate the motor vehicle code, you owe $350, you are on a time payment. I'm sorry, a what? It's allowing another to violate the motor vehicle code. Um, I have no knowledge of this. All right, well, let's take a look. Maybe there's more than one, Jesus Sanchez. And an aggravated assault. Anyway. You haven't paid any of your fines. Um, was the aggravated assault with Justin Johnson? If it was, that's taken care of. I haven't been in any altercations besides since then. Well, let's see if I can find out. One zero. I might just owe fines for that, but you got a ticket. Jesus Gabriel Sanchez, your date of birth on July 8th of 2021 for driving with a suspended license. Uh, we had a Zoom hearing. It was reduced by the prosecutor to allowing another to violate the motor vehicle code. They gave you a fine of $75. $75 crime victims rights fee, a $50 state minimum fee and a $150 attorney fee. I gave you all the way until the end of 2021 and you never made one payment. So maybe um, you should to, go to jail for that. To be honest with you, yes. I did completely forget about that and I do have the money to pay that. All right, well, let's talk about the other one. It started out as an armed robbery and it was reduced to aggravated assault. That was in front of Judge Patterson. Yes, that was the Justin Johnson. I can make a payment on that too. Well, how about if you just go to jail, if you get these fines and costs and you forget or just don't pay? I, I can pay them today. Uh, okay, well, that'd be a good thing. Uh, how about this malicious destruction of tires? 
Do you wish to plead not guilty to that and get an attorney to help you with this? Not guilty. Yes? Yes, not guilty. All right. I want you to take care of this other stuff. Uh, could you I'll, give me, could you possibly give me the total of everything? I'll, I'll, give it, I'll give it to you here in a little slip. Were you friends with Miranda? Uh, that is the mother of my child. Yes. And as you know, I spent a lot of time with Miranda and you guys have had sort of a tumultuous circumstance. Is the child with you now? Yes. He was a cute little kid. Yeah. He's still a happy little man. Well, he doesn't need this kind of stuff going on in his life. Uh, no, he doesn't. Um, honestly, ever since she's been incarcerated, everything's been running very smoothly. Her out date is 10-21. So she'll be out here pretty soon, 10 days or so. Yeah, she's going to be going to her dad's over in Indiana. I think that's a good plan. She needs some support. Point an attorney set, attorney pretrial for November 3rd at 8.30. I'll give you this little slip that shows the Funds that you own. Are you working someplace? Yes, Jacob. Why don't you take him out and get him an appointed attorney? We'll set the matter for further proceedings. I feel bad about the first one. You got a break. They reduced it from driving suspended to allowing another to violate the motor vehicle code. I gave you four months, three months to pay it, and you repaid me by paying not one cent. Yes, I apologize about that. I do tend to get overwhelmed and forget about things. All right. I want you to pay those. We'll see how you've done when I see you on November 3rd. Um, I do have a question. Am I okay to just pay 500? Do you and then start next paying pay? on them? I want to see you make okay. it. Thank you. All right. Just stand right there. What's the charge, Tim? Looks like they wrote it as a miscellaneous misdemeanor or mental All right. Well, they charge you with something. I think it's akin to disturbing the peace. Dispatch for a male subject threatening with a gun upon making contact. Subject stated he lied about the gun and was just upset over his cat. Um, okay, um, that the way they've charged it, I believe is a misdemeanor under Sturgis ordinance punishable by up to 90 days in jail and a fine of up to a $500. Mr. George, is this kind of thing you would reduce to the civil infraction? Yeah, I think it's more appropriate under the civil infraction as well. All right. That distinguished gentleman is the assistant Sturgis city attorney. You're charged with a misdemeanor, uh, miscellaneous ordinance violation. They have a civil infraction, which is not a crime. It's a punishable by a fine only. And the fine is $100. But I guess the allegation is 
you called and said that there was a incident with a gun, but there really was no gun. No, yeah. it's all because I was upset that day because I thought they took my cat. Okay. Would you plead to the civil infraction charge, which is not a crime for disturbing the Sturgis yes. officers? All right. Are you still living in the tent or have you found a place to be? We found a place to stay. Where are you staying? We're staying with a family friend. Uh, Joshua Ferris and his wife's family. Right, that's the same people in here, and you thought they took your cat. Yeah, I thought they took my cat because the the doggy door was open, and I never opened that door. Okay. There's no way to lock it up or anything. I uh, was just making sure my cat was safe and sound, and I'm just scared of losing her. All right, well, the Sturgis police got better things to do. They go out on a gun case and find out it has to do with a missing cat. Um, they probably went on a priority there. Tim, do you know the citation for that civil infraction? No, no, stop it. Well, this is not a crime, so it's a fine only. Fine and cost is $100. You don't have any money right now. If I give you till the end of the year, December 31st, can you pay that? Have you worked anywhere? I used to work at um, Buffalo Wild Wings for, for like um, yes. Uh, I used to work at Wings downtown Sturgis. He used to work at Buffalo Wild Wings. And he ended up having to go to Hillsdale Hospital Mental Health Board. Okay. I remember that you were at Wings. All right. I'm going to give it till the end of the year to pay this. And this one is, again, this is not a crime, it's a civil infraction. But you can't do that sort of thing. Um, it's a waste of city resources and it could be dangerous if they're driving lights and siren to a gun case and it's only about a cat. All right, you're free to go. Thank you. I did. Thank you, Judge. All right, thank you. Uh, Tim can have this back.